Spike ML has launched a bunch of models and one of the biggest highlights is the maximum amount of input length that you can give. It can handle more than 60,000 tokens like we have not seen any model even not GPT family model that can handle this much token but let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's start with the first story. The first story is a Mosaic ML has launched a family of models called MPT7B. MPT as usual uh, is an open source model and uh, it's available for commercial use but not all the models. I'll give you the details about what models are available for commercial use. So what are the models that they have released? They have released four models. MPT7B base, MPT7B story writer 65k plus, MPT7B instruct, MPT7B chat. And out of these four models, MPT7B base and MPT7B story writer, the 65k token model, these two are Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use for commercial purpose as well. But because you have got the instruct fine tuned models, the instruct model and the chat model, you shouldn't ideally use for uh, commercial purposes. So these are CC by SA, like it's uh, it can be used for whatever purpose that you want, but just not commercial purposes. That's actually quite good because you've got the base model. In fact, like if you want to use it, you can train it. So now what are the good things about this model? Uh, the main important thing that you need to understand is this introduction part. So introducing MPT 7 billion, the latest entry in our Mosaic ML foundation series. MPT 7B is a transformer trained from scratch on 1 trillion tokens of text and code. If you know that Llama, the model that Facebook released but not did not release in public and got leaked a lot, is trained on 1 trillion token and we have seen a lot of initiatives where people are trying to build Llama equivalent model. Uh, thanks to Mosaic ML, now we have an open source available for commercial use model that matches the quality of Llama 7 billion. MPT 7 billion was trained on the Mosaic ML platform in just less than 10 days with zero human interfacing at the cost of 200,000. I mean like 200,000 is like a um, one year cost, one FTE cost for a lot of startups or a lot of companies in the valley. So it's it's quite surprising the fact that 200,000 can produce something. Um, like imagine like you have to hire a writer and you have to hire a copywriter. You have to hire, a, let's say uh, one more programmer, like a junior developer. And all these three roles would cost you more than 200,000 for the sure if you are a company in Silicon Valley, California. But the fact that you can train a model in just less than 10 days that costs you approximately around $200,000 that can do all these three jobs probably without, you know, whining about the job is quite amazing and unbelievable. And that's probably um, a thing that we are going to see probably like all these companies who are going to build their own large language model to maybe one day. Now everybody talks about complementing human being, but probably one day to replace human being. Starting today, you can train, fine tune, deploy your own private MPT models, either starting from one of the own checkpoints or training from scratch. For inspiration, we are releasing the fine tuned models in addition to the base MPT7B, MPT7B Instruct, MPT7B Chat, and MPT7B Story Writer 65K Plus, which is something that almost everybody is talking about. Imagine you can give a 65,000 input like you can literally give like a legal document and ask it to summarize. You can give a legal document and ask questions about it because I don't know anybody who reads legal documents that are like, you know, big books, binded books. This is quite amazing, which has a context length of around 65,000 tokens. Quite unbelievable. And uh, that's that's what we are at today. So Mosaic ML has released a new family of model. It's called Mosaic Pre-Trained Transformer. Thankfully, they did not name it GPT or anything related to GPT or not even an animal. So that's good. Thank you so much that we have got a change from the model names. What are the highlights of this model? It's licensed for commercial use. Unlike Llama, Llama is leaked. You cannot use Llama for commercial use. That means anything that is trained on top of Llama could not be used for commercial use. But we recently saw another model called Open Llama that could be trained on commercial use, uh, that could be used for commercial use, but that was not the 1 trillion token trained model. But we have got a 1 trillion token trained model available for commercial use. Trained on a large amount of data, 1 trillion token like Llama versus 300 billion Pythia, 300 billion Open Llama. Open Llama has plans to do 1 trillion training token, but talking about today, 8, 800 billion like stable LM. So what they're trying to claim is that out of all the open source models that are available, we are the best. Um, I mean, definitely we'll test it and then see, but looking at the numbers on papers, it's like, you know, 
configuration for buying a smartphone, I mean, this looks top notch. Prepare to handle extremely long inputs thanks to a new technique called Alibi. I don't know how do you pronounce it. It's A-L-I-B-I. It's a completely new technique um, to handle large amount of tokens. We trained on up to 65,000 tokens and ha can handle up to 84,000 tokens versus 2,000 to 4,000 other open source models. Cool. Optimized for faster training and inference via flash attention and faster transformer. Equipped with high efficient open source training code. So we rigorously evaluated on range of benchmarks and MPT met the high quality bar set by Llama 7 billion. That means if you are like me, never got your hands or never got approved from Facebook or Meta AI to use Llama, then you can build your models. You can use MPT models starting today because this is not a waiting list. This is not a form that you have to fill. They have actually like literally released the models, all these models available on Hugging Face Model Up. You can go to their organization page, just scroll down to the bottom and then you can literally see all these models available, different, different levels and you know, all the models that you wanted to use. MPT 7 billion chat, MPT 7 billion instruct, MPT 7 billion, MPT 7 billion story writer and um, everything that you want related to these models. In fact, the data set, all these things are available for you to use. Not that I, I don't think it's an entire data set but you can use everything. Now looking, getting into the details of each of this model, MPT 7 billion is a decoder stridal transformer with 6.7 billion parameters. It was trained on 1 trillion tokens of text and code. That's another important aspect, which means it can text, it can write, and it can write program like programmers code. It's curated by Mosaic ML's data team. This model base model includes flash attention for faster training and inference and alibi for fine tuning extrapolation to the long context length. That's how they could get 65,000 plus tokens. It's licensed um, Apache 2.0 and you can click this link. It will take you to the hugging face model. Up. I mean, for me, the most important or the most interesting thing is the story writer model that is that can handle more than 65,000 tokens. It was built by fine tuning MPT seven with a context length of 65,000 tokens on a filtered fiction subset of book three data set. At inference time, thanks to Alibi, we have can extrapolate even beyond 65,000 tokens. We have demonstrated generations as long as 84,000 token on a single node, A100 to 80 GB GPUs. If you have got 80 gig memory, if you have got an A100 GPU, it means you can, in one instruction, like one prompt, you can generate more than 84,000 token. I probably like you can publish a book in one, I don't know how coherent that book is going to be, but this is definitely going to um, introduce a lot of spam in Kindle direct publishing. So probably you might see a lot of Kindle books in short. MPT 7 billion instruct model is a model that will, for short form instruction following by built by fine tuning MPT 7B on a data set that we have released, the data set that we just saw that, that they have released. It's derived from Dolly 15K from Databricks and Anthropics helpful and harmless data set. It's been licensed on CC by SA 3.0. You can go see the model. And finally, they've got a chat model because it's a chatbot like model for dialogue generation. It's again built on share GPT, Vicuna, H3, HC, HC3, Alpaca, the same anthropic helpful and harmless data set and evolve instruct data set. And it is not available for commercial use. And you can go see, I want you to come up with a tweet based on the summary of this article and then the tweet is available. I'm not sure if this if fits in the tweet length. Um, yeah, so the the instruct the message is here and it is here is a tweet that has come up with it. And in fact, like it has given the full blog post link. Is there anything else you would like to be uh, you want to say about being excited and it has given us the details about what it has been um, interested or excited about. So you can see all the details are available here. I will link this entire blog post in the YouTube description and they've also got given you details about how you want to build your own GPT or MPT family models and deploying yours. You can sign up here to get started. Or if you want to know about the data training uh, or the data pre-trained data or inference, you can go and read in the particular set of sections. And if you want to compare different models starting from MPT 7 billion to Llama 7 billion stable diffusion and the most hyped models in the recent time to the olden models like GPT-6, uh, GPT-7 or uh, OPT, you can compare all these things. Like, I mean, like imagine like when OPT got released, I published a video that we have got a GPT equivalent model in open source, but we have come a long way to say 
that we have got in a lot of benchmarks you can see mpt 7 billion model be doing better like in fact beating llama 7 billion not everything but for for a fact that this model is right now available within your grasp in um you don't have to fill a form it's quite amazing and you can see the details if you have seen when gpt4 was released the 32000 token like blew everybody's mind people are like oh i can write a book um, I can do a lot of things. This is quite amazing. But the fact that now you have got a 65,000 token model and um, that's, uh, that's, yeah, this, this is unbelievable. So you can see even though story writer was fine tuned with 65,000 token context length, Alibi makes it possible for the model to extrapolate to even longer in um, inputs, 68,000 tokens in case of the great Gatsby. And uh, you can see the full text of great, great Gatsby. I think it's a book. Uh, weighs in at less than 68,000 tokens. It's unbelievable, right? Story writer took in the great Gatsby in about 20 seconds, 150,000 words per minute due to the long sequence length typing. Its typing speed is slower than our other MPT 7 billion model. It's completely fine. 105 words per minute. Um, that's okay. Humans type lesser than that. And you can see it can take the entire great Gatsby and then it can actually you know create an epilogue based on that unbelievable stuff and you have got the instruct model where you can give an instruction convert the following to JSON and then it can do it and you have got the chat model where you can start asking questions this is unbelievable stuff so now I would like to tell you that you can go to the hugging face model hub and then get all the models if you want and more importantly you can go here and then start chatting with the chatbot model all the links will be in the YouTube description as you can see, it runs currently on a 10 G GPU. And uh, this is the chat model, the hugging face spaces. So all I said is uh, write an essay on Elon Musk. And as usual, it has written an essay on Elon Musk. Now I can go and ask, can you can you make a joke on this guy? And I can submit and let's see if it can actually create a joke on this guy. And uh, it, it be, because this is a Saturday, it looks like, you know, I'm not on a queue. Um, it seems like when I asked it to write this thing, it was quite, it, it did well. So let's see how long it takes. But uh, while it is getting generated, I would like to quickly show you the other demo, which is in the instruct input. So here you can go write a question. Like for example, write a travel blog about a three day trip to Thailand. And it is going to help you create a three day trip or travel blog, a three day trip to Thailand. And you can see that it has started giving you. So one of the important thing that you need to remember between a chat model and an instruct model is, instruct models are very well fine-tuned to take instructions and give you back i think that's one of the usps of chat gpt where it can actually you know do both things for you but as you can see here this is all instruct model and it you can give an instruction and because this has been trained on code as well you can ask it to do coding as well and uh, and you can also chat like here is a joke i came up with elon musk why did elon musk wear two pants to two pairs of pants to work because he wanted to be prepared for any accidents. This joke is definitely not like a joke that you would laugh for. I don't know if anybody is going to laugh for like, please let me know in the comment section if you actually laughed at this joke. But uh, but but it's interesting. It's it, it sounds like a bad joke, but it's still like a joke. And you can see the instruct model actually works pretty well. You can go here and then give an instruction. You can say uh, convert the following uh, to single line of JSON and then you can give uh, the names and you can just click submit and then it can do it. Uh, I'm still not sure how efficiently we can run this on free collab or anything. I've not gone into that level at least at this point, but uh, yeah, this can run on A10J as we can see. And uh, if you are not familiar, recently Google Collab Pro uh, introduced multiple GPUs that you can select. Maybe I can make a separate video on that, but the fact that we have got really powerful models, open source models with really good capabilities that can compete with a GPT a family of models and that can be used for a commercial license is quite amazing. Also as a note before we end, not every use case actually needs, you know, GPT-4. That's something that people don't often realize that because GPT-4 is the best, you don't need GPT-4 all the time. Like because, you know, 64 gig RAM is good. You don't need 64 gig RAM for every single thing that you do on your computer. The same way, sometimes your use case could be completely fit within this model and if you manage to use this model, all you have to do is you have to pay for your hosting cost, like the compute cost, and uh, you don't have to pay 
huge amount of money to open ai and you don't have to rely on their technology you don't have to be worried about you know what open ai is going to do with the data that you are using like or sending it to them it's all going to be local if you're a big enterprise i think this is an amazing opportunity for you to jump into large language model where you can do llama or gpt level things without having to pay money to anybody else except you know the compute cost and the hosting cost i hope this video was helpful to you all the required links will be in the youtube description let me know in the comment section what do you think about this thing exciting times ahead happy prompting